Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Vision Innovative. So today we discuss about ancient ships found in Egyptian desert. So let's discuss about it. A fleet of royal ships said to be ancient Egypt's earliest has been found buried miles from the Nile. A major discovery that will help penetrate the largely unknown world of Egypt's first pharaohs. American and Egyptian archaeologists discovered the 12 large wooden boats in September and October at Abydos, an ancient burial ground 280 miles south of Cairo. Egyptian officials disclosed the discovery this week. Experts said that the boats, which are 50 to 60 feet long, are about 5,000 years old. They are Egypt's earliest royal ships and among the earliest boats found anywhere. The ships probably were meant for burial exports set to the soul of the pharaohs could be transported on them. Working with the Egyptian Antiquities Organization, his team from the University of Pennsylvania and Yale University aims to learn more about Egypt's earliest pharaohs, the period ended in 2700 BC. From earliest times, Abydos was known for the monuments honoring Osiris, ancient Egypt's god of recreation. The boats O'Connor said that were found 8 miles from the Nile, each encased in a mud brick coffin and gingerly placed inside a pit into which ancient priests inserted pottery offerings. The pit was covered with mud bricks and plasters. The buried blocks probably never sailed the Nile, but were built to serve as magical vehicles to transport dead pharaohs through the sun's rays by day, the starry skies by night. The huge 60-feet wooden boat preserved by the boat resort since over 4,500 years had to be been very expensive to build. The huge 60-feet wooden boat preserved by the sands of the Sahara for over 4,500 years has been found in the ancient Egyptian necropolis of Abu Zir. Its cedar planks connected by wooden pegs and interact are as the rib seams which were clogged with plant materials. From the prehistoric times, the Nile was not only a source of food, water and symbol of fertility, but also a highway. The history of Pharaonic Egypt was therefore inextricably linked to the use of boats and ships. Even the sun god ray out through the travel in two different works across the sky by the day and throughout the netherworld by the night. Finding boards in ancient Egyptian cemeteries has happened before the practice of burying boards with their royal honors began in the early dynastic period, apparently to symbolically carry the deceased perhaps into the afterlife but few have been found at non-royal tombs. Most old regions settled for ordinary people sell the obiquities papyrus skips. A sheep of the splendor would have been symbol of distinguished traveling, says Bartha, as such it was from the very beginning connected with the realm of gods. So this is all for today's video. If you like to see more videos then please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.